favorite berries, grapes, and other favorite fruits in your local grocery store may not be looking so great, or the prices may be going up and up, and that's because they aren't in season. So our sponsor, the WW Group, suggests you enjoy what is. We want to welcome back my good friend, uh, comedian, <laughs> chef, uh, infotainer. She is Chef Isabella. Yeah, nice to see you. It's always good to see you. Yeah, you too, man. I could have her on every day. She <laughs> just brightens the room. What are the benefits of buying produce when it's in season? Well, the first thing is obviously mm. cost because it's going to be obviously cheaper when you buy in season mm -hmm. and uh, it's going to taste better. Okay. And also buying in season will give you a more variety of options of the food that you can try, basically. Okay, so we've got a lot on the screen there as uh, Kevin pans across from uh, right to left. Yep. Uh, what would be an example of something that's in season over right here? Right there, yeah. This, the this is what's in yeah, season. Yeah, which winter in a way is kind of a very boring season because it's all about leafy greens and root vegetables and so on. And first of all, all of those are zero points uh, uh, vegetables. Okay. So people are challenged sometimes because they don't know how to manage leafy greens and so on. For me, the best way for people to learn about stuff in season would be to go to a farmer's market gotcha. and learn about it. Sure. Even if you don't want to buy at the farmer's market, at least you know what's available now. And if you want to go to the grocery store, buy it. But take a break from this stuff. Come on. This stuff is summer, which, of course, you can find it all year round. So well, like, you're putting out eggplant, peppers, yeah, you know, zucchini. Yeah, and the tomatoes. You know, Carrots wait tomatoes. when it is the season to enjoy stuff like this. You know, this is uh, season now. You know, the citrus, the grapes, and so on. All this stuff here obviously is definitely summary, but you can find it now at a grocery store. And this comes from South America, obviously. So, so that's know, why the price is up. So you're paying for it, right? Yes, and the taste well, is nice, great. Well, what about um, frozen vegetables, frozen, frozen uh, fruit? Another option, definitely for people, you know, they don't want to buy, you know, fresh. They can always rely or on cans. frozen. I'm sorry? Cans. Yeah. You've I mean, got cans really out here. Too, yeah. I, I mean, grew up with these. Right yeah, did here. you? Yeah, no, me, man. Oh, sh no. You don't like these? Oh, no. These Dude. are great yeah. on pizza. Yeah, sure, whatever. But listen, <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen. I grew up eating fresh stuff basically on a regular basis. I never ate frozen vegetables, definitely never. But ate. are they okay? Can yes, of course they are okay. Oh, okay. You know, the thing about canned, it might be the texture, that kind of mushing, well done, so, eh. If that's, if that's what you, see, I was such a green bean snob when I was a kid that they had to be the green beans out of the can and not the frozen ones, because I thought the frozen ones were too crunchy. Yeah, because you grew up that way. But definitely one thing that I always mention at the meetings and members is you have to learn to reach out and uh, be a little more open-minded, you're going to have more fun with whatever is out there. Uh, should we limit the amount of fruits and vegetables we eat each day? Uh, well, uh, limit. You can definitely eat a lot of vegetables and fruit. The main difference between vegetables and fruit, fruit is going to have a lot of sugar. Sure. So, you know, don't have like, you know, five pounds of cherry today and a whole watermelon, whatever, because, you know, it's good for you. It's better if you have more vegetables and you maybe you limit the fruits to like uh, three or four servings a day. But vegetable, definitely you can go like seven, eight servings daily. Uh, I was at uh, Pernoy in Birmingham the other night. And oh, how had, was that? I was lovely, Sorry, I just, lovely. Okay. You know, <laughs> he's a whack. Yeah. Uh, he, he, the chef uh, served me a, a Caesar salad uh, that had, uh, what's the lettuce that starts with R? It's spicy. It's like radicchio. Or, uh, Radic Radicchio, excuse me. Radicchio. Learn. Radicchio. <laughs> you just called me out. <coughs> yeah. Is that in season? Radicchio, yeah. Radicchio. The red one, yes. Can, can I get mm -hmm. that now? Is it in yeah, season? Yeah, you can get it, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. And people don't really know how to eat that or know about it, yes. So okay. Good for you. Okay. Don't make a mess now, man. Oh, I haven't opened these mushrooms in so long. Oh. WW can help you navigate your way through the challenge of eating healthy. To find a WW workshop near you, visit the website 888-3, that's the number 3, fluorine.com.